Welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. My name is Answer, and here at this channel, we regularly post videos about Microsoft Excel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the fuzzy matching tool, as well as transformation tables within the Power Query editor of Excel to reconcile and clean data quickly. So here we have a data set containing product names and their sales amounts. So every transaction that occurs gets recorded on this list. Now, the thing is that this list over here, this uh, data entry area, has either one of these five products over here. But the issue is the spelling of the products and the format. As you can see, BioFresh Fruit over here, it says. Um, organic Fruits, it says over here as well. Although the product's actual name is BioFresh Organic Fruit Basket. Uh, and same goes for other products such as Aqua Wave. It says Aqua Wave over here. However, it's supposed to be this name over here. So let me show you how we can use the fuzzy tool to reconcile this data for us. So we will be fixing all of these product names using this as a reference, but we'll be doing it as a bulk. So all together at once, essentially. So first of all, what I'd like to do is I'd like to load both of these tables up into our uh, Power Query Editor. So into our Get and Transform data from table range, I've already clicked on the table. And from here, I'm simply going to go ahead and go into close and load, close and load two. And after this opens up, I'll select only click, only create connection, and I'll press OK. Now, in my case, I've already done that, so I won't press OK. But all you have to do is press OK. And for the second table, I would do the exact same thing. I would click on it into data from table range, and then after that, I would create the connection. And essentially then, um, in Power Query, I will have table one and table two, both of them loaded up. So now that we've done that, what we would do is we would hit Alt and F12, which is gonna open up our Power Query editor. And as you can see over here, table two is our main table with all the sales data, and table one is our reference table. These are the terms that we actually want uh, over here. So what I'll do is I'll go into merge queries and merge queries as new. And I'm going to be merging these two tables right now. So table two is the top one, table one is the bottom one. And I'm going to keep it as all from first matching from second because I want this to be my main table and the second one to be my reference table. And after that, I'm going to select the column. So the column one over here and matching with column, the only column on this table over here. So as you can see, we have six out of 26 matches, which means out of this, only six of them are matching these over here. We want, of course, all of them, all of these 26 rows to match with these. So first of all, I'm gonna activate the fuzzy match. This is essentially a logic which is not going to look for the exact value. It's going to allow some flexibility. So even if it's a partial match, it'll still match. And into the fuzzy matching options, the similarity threshold is generically set at 0.8. Um, when it's at one, that means you only look for an exact match. When it's at zero, essentially you can go crazy and match whatever you want. So it's at 0.8, let's put it at 0 0.7. This is very subjective to you, whatever you feel like. Um, and as you can see, the selection matches 16 out of 26 rows. So there are still 10 uh, values within this table, which are not matching over here, which is okay because we're going to be doing that in the next step. I'll click on OK, and that's going to load up our second or our third new table. And I'm going to click these small arrows over here, uncheck use original column name as prefix, and I'll click on OK. So now you can see this is our original table and we've added another column which is correcting the names. So organic fruits with an extra S is actually supposed to be called BioFresh Organic Fruit Basket, okay? But as you can see, some of these products um, still haven't been corrected the names because Power Query Editor cannot tell which products these are. And we're gonna fix that in just a moment over here as well. So I'm gonna go into close and load and close and load and that's going to load it up into a separate worksheet within Excel. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to use a transformation table to clean up the remaining data. Now, mind you, there is some manual work to this because Excel can only do so much, but we're going to try to make this as simple as possible 
by using our second resort, which is the transformation table. I'm going to click on all of the values here that don't have a match. So as you can see, there's only a few. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select all of them and control C to copy. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go into control Alt V and paste them as values right over here. Okay. And I'm going to remove the duplicates. So biofresh fruit, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove all the duplicates from here as well quickly. So I've went ahead and I've removed all the duplicates. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a separate table over here. And essentially we want this biofresh fruit to actually be this product over here. Same with the second one, Stellar Glow should actually be this one over here. And we're going to continue the process for the remaining ones. So Ultra Water Speaker should actually be this over here. And we're going to move on, continue the process. So we went ahead and we fixed up these names. Um, but how do we implement this back into our table? I'm going to write down from over here and to over here. And I'm going to select this data, Control T, uh, select my table has headers and create a from to table and I'm going to call this table our uh, transform table and what I'm going to do here is select the table into data from table range and I'm going to do the exact same thing over here go into here close and load to and once the box opens up only create connection okay now I'm going to go back to my merge double click on it and I'm going to, once this opens up here, I'm going to go into source, double click it and into here. And I'm going to select our transformation table. So our transformation table is the one that we just made. As you can see now, the selection matches 25 out of 26 rows. So now we have only one of them, which still hasn't matched. And we'll have to find out which stubborn name that was. Uh, we'll click on OK here. And this opens up a new table for us where we can simply go ahead and we can click on these arrows, uncheck this, click on OK, and insert the step. And here we are. So this only the Quantum X Pro uh, didn't work out for us. And so later on, we can always go ahead and manually fix this and uh, give it the proper name. But anyways, what we would do now in this case is we would delete this column and after this we would bring this column to the front over here insert step once again and as you can see now we have a reconciled product list with all of the proper names of the products as well as their sales total so close and load and here it is here's the table so now we can simply go ahead here and give this a dollar format and this was our quantum x uh, product so we can go ahead and fix the name for that. So now we've turned this uh, data table with all of the different um, poorly formatted product names and inconsistent product names. And we've been able to use our fuzzy matching Power Query tool to aggregate all the data and to reconcile and clean it up, right? So again, we had to do some manual data formatting as well, but this saved us a lot of time um, if we had about 100, 200 or more rows in Excel or perhaps a CSV file. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do drop a like and a subscribe and I'll see you very soon on the next video. Thank you for watching.